Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. Welcome back. Um, I'm excited for this video. This is for anyone who is uh, thinking about becoming a health coach and starting a career kind of in this um, realm of health and recovery and relationship with food. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I am someone who is very much in this space. Uh, I work with girls who are suffering from eating disorders. I primarily help them get their period back. Uh, so I focus on amenorrhea recovery, but along with that, of course, as we know, is going to be helping someone heal their relationship with food because that's often why someone loses their period in the first place. Um, I started my business in 2018, so I've been working for the past uh, couple years in this field and have worked with hundreds of women at this point. I've built a very great career for myself and I've been able to uh, work for myself and work from home for the past couple years, and so that has been fantastic. Um, today we are going to chat about though uh, two different programs that are kind of popular out there in the kind of health coaching space. I just know that back in the day when I was kind of trying to you know decide which program I wanted to take it would have been helpful to uh, get in analysis and kind of an inside perspective from someone. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about two programs, IIN, which is the Institute for Integrative Nutrition, and then IPE, which is kind of the lesser known of the two, which is the Institute for the Psychology of Eating. Now, I was enrolled in both of these programs, but only one of them did I decide was worth it to continue, and that's what we're gonna discuss today. So again, if you're someone who wants to be in this space of health coaching and create a new career, then I highly recommend taking a couple minutes to just watch this video. All right, so I'm going to give you guys my honest review and perspective on both of these programs. Um, I ended up, just spoiler alert here, I ended up only continuing on with the Institute for the Psychology of Eating uh, for many different reasons, and we will get into this here. The point of this video is to simply share my experience with these two programs and to give my opinion, okay? So let's just be clear with that. This is very much my opinion of these two programs. So when I started thinking about career paths and becoming a health coach, I started looking online for a program or certification that I could get that could help me build the career of my dreams. And naturally, I fell upon IIN. I'm sure a lot of you guys have as well. It's kind of everywhere, which brings me to kind of my first point with IIN. And yes, I'm just going to go out here and say it uh, just to save you the time if you're going to click out now. Um, I am not the biggest fan of IIN. I am a huge fan of IPE, and I'm going to share why. Uh, but I am, it's like every single influencer and health coach and person out there um, is like a promoter of this program. I believe the first person that kind of introduced me to IN was Melissa Ambrosini. Um, but then I do remember seeing like Marie Folio and seeing like all these other huge kind of like influencers and people uh, talking about IN. So again, I just had like really high hopes for this program with all of these kind of influencers talking about it. But unfortunately for me, the program just kind of fell flat in a lot of areas. And I want to just pause real quick and just like mention this because I think it's really fascinating that like all these people and I really should have thought about it more uh, when I was doing my research, but all these people that I was following who, you know, were talking about IIN, none of them were still doing coaching or ever did coaching. Um, and that should have been like kind of a little red flag to me here that it like really just became this like slap the label I'm an I and coach on it, right? And like now I can do anything I want. And I just, I, I saw a lot of business uh, people, like business coaches, how to build a health coach, uh, a health coaching business, or just simply just like women in business, not even necessarily like health coaching. And that's fine, and I love business coaches. I'm not like dissing on that. I'm just saying like, I think it's really funny that a lot of these graduates of IAN, the ones specifically who have been very successful, they aren't doing the work that IAN like certifies you to do, if that makes sense. Again, not saying that they shouldn't be doing what they're doing, I'm just saying it's kind of interesting that like none of them really continued to go on their journey of health coaching. 
but I think it makes sense uh, as you dive into the program. And mind you, I, I did half of the program, um, and then I literally was like, I, I don't want to finish this. Like, I didn't want to finish it. I think that says a lot. I literally was like, this is not what I was looking for, especially as someone who I was, you know, trying to get out of multiple eating disorders and orthorexia and anorexia and all of that. And I just felt like there was such, I mean, obviously it's a nutrition program, but there's such a just like focus on all these different diets and, you know, ways of eating food and preparing it and all of that. And I, I really just felt like the information that I was learning was not new and it was stuff that I could have easily Googled, like how to like increase probiotics, you know, and it's like eat sauerkraut, like I didn't need to pay $6,000, whatever it was to like understand that sauerkraut has probiotics, like that stuff is readily available online and so that was just really disappointing to me and then being someone who was coming from the place of like i want to heal my relationship with food i want to understand my body and why my period's gone and why my metabolism screwed up and like all of that i just like wasn't getting that in the program and it kind of just honestly just felt flat especially because i feel like they gave us a lot of theories and a lot of like this type of diet and this type of diet and that type of diet and it really didn't go into depth into any of them. And so it was like, here's what, you know, I'm trying to think this was years ago. It's like, here's what, you know, the macrobiotic vegan diet is. And here's like what this does. And it was like, great, cool. Like, how do I actually help someone who comes to me and has these, you know, these issues, these health concerns. Um, and so I really just, it makes sense why a lot of the influencers started doing more business coaching type of stuff or they started, you know, selling essential oils or doing something like that, uh, something else to actually make money. Cause it's like, yeah, how are you actually going to niche down and be able to like help a specific population here with the just kind of abundant superficialness of the information that you just gave me on all of these other like diets and things like that. And I feel like too, a lot of the stuff was just kind of a little too common sense again for me to have like paid for it. It's like, make sure that someone gets sunlight. I'm like, yeah, no duh, we're humans. We need sunlight. Like, mm, I don't know. It was just missing again, a lot of depth. And so that's what made me not want to finish the program. I found a couple of reviews on Reddit about how other people felt because I was like, is this just me who's feeling this way? And here are just a couple responses. Uh, this person's talking about the distance learning class and she's saying that all the students try to sell you products that are selling through network marketing companies. All the knowledge you learned, you can research on your own. They're not a school that has accreditation, blah, 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 blah. The next person was saying that and then this person responded saying, agreed as well, it's a Ponzi scheme. They pay alums to send new students to them, which I'm totally fine with that. I mean, that's totally fine. That's business, whatever. Um, but this is what I'm not okay with. It says, and the bulk of the course consists of teaching you how to sell yourself as a health professional rather than how to actually become one. And this is exactly how I felt about the program. I was like, do I actually know how to help someone now? Like, I don't think so. They go on to say, you aren't taught any health studies that you couldn't glean from the diet aisle at BNN in a single weekend. Some of the quote unquote counselors, the school graduates, might have good intentions but certainly are not trained in any real way, while others know what the deal is but most believe that there are prospective clients that are dumb enough to buy their blank wholesale. Um, I can't blame anyone but myself for having gone to the school, but it sucks that I wasted all that money on a diploma that would only hurt my credibility if I were to name it on my CV. So again, I feel like it's just very popular to be um, an IIN health coach, and that's just kind of it. It's a lot of hype for not very much depth and information and ability to actually help people. So let's switch on over and talk about the program that I actually liked and completely finished and got certified as a coach as, and that was uh, IP, which is the Institute for the Psychology of Eating. So this, like when I finally found IPE, it was like, oh, it was like, yes, this is what I want to be studying. Um, but IPE didn't really talk about food which is something that I really appreciated because I was trying to help people heal their relationship with food. And I was wanting to understand, you know, not just like what's the meal plan I can give someone, 
as wanting to understand why are they choosing certain foods? Why is their habit with food this uh, way? Like I, I wanted to understand kind of the root cause going on underneath someone's diet and lifestyle and how that's impacting them and their health. And IPE was the program that actually like went in depth on like, here is the psychology of eating. They call it dynamic eating psychology. And because I don't want to kind of butcher the definition here, um, I mean, I can give you obviously what I feel like it is. I'm just gonna read you off of uh, the IPE site, what dynamic psychology actually is. So it says dynamic eating psychology is a positive and empowering approach to transforming our eating challenges. It's designed for anyone who eats. It includes tools, techniques, maps, skills, and protocols that are results driven and sustainable. It recognizes that our eating challenges are intimately connected to all of what makes us human. Relationship, family, work, money, sexuality, spirituality, our search for fulfillment, and much more. And it sees our concerns with food not as an indication that we're broken, but as a powerful opportunity to grow and evolve. Each of us has a unique food and body story. Dynamic eating psychology affirms the importance of this epic story. It helps us transform our eating concerns through a deeper understanding of what they're here to teach us, using the right skills and within a context of love and insight. And it honors all of us as who we are as eaters, body, mind, heart, and soul. Eating psychology works because everyone has a unique relationship with food driven by their beliefs, mindset, emotions, and past. And eating psychology is so effective because it provides the right tools and strategies that can help catalyze lasting change with greater ease. So just even like right there reading that, I'm like, yes, that is what I personally, again, as someone who's dealt with multiple eating disorders and disordered eating and just having a very tough relationship with food, that's what I'm wanting. I'm wanting to understand my relationship again, not just with food, but my relationship with my sexuality, with pleasure, with life, with family, with relationships, with all these things. I need to understand that and how that's all impacting uh, how I'm treating my body, how I view my body and what I'm eating, whether I am going through something like the binge uh, restrict cycle or I am uh, using food as an emotional number or I'm using starvation as my emotional number. And so dynamic eating psychology helps you understand that person as an eater. And I just love the approach that they take of like, you are not wrong and broken. This is simply just, um, just for us to learn and understand ourselves more. So your eating problems aren't like, oh no, poor you, like, or you're bad, right? You have an eating problem, it's like, Ooh, let's open up and let's actually receive the magic and the medicine from struggling with your relationship with food. And to me, this approach and the whole program of IPE was just that. It was a deep dive, like deep dive, nothing superficial. All Mark does is just go deep, go deep, go deep into how we actually help someone who's dealing with an issue like body image or an issue like emotional eating or an issue like under eating and you know, dealing with an eating disorder. And that to me is what has allowed me to become the great coach that I am today, is that I won, I learned how to hold space for people really well because we practice that in the program, right? This isn't just like, and here's a list of things that you should eat and then blah, blah, blah. It's like, Mm, let's understand again all of this at a much deeper level let's be the facilitator of change for people in their eating problems and you're gonna learn in this program how to become that facilitator that facilitator sorry of change how to hold space for someone as they go through this journey of redefining their relationship with food and body which is a beautiful journey to walk people through to be quite honest and so you know in clients come to me they sometimes they're like just what should I eat what should I eat and I'm like listen let me ask you a couple questions <laughs> let's dive into this a little bit more because this isn't about food like can we just you know and I help them understand that's like there's something else going on here food is simply just the thing that is kind of present here but there's underlying currents of what's going on let's talk about the relationship with your mom did she make you feel like you needed to be perfect in order to like, in order to receive her love? 
Do you feel like maybe your desire to find the perfect way to eat, the perfect diet for you, to give you the perfect weight, is a little bit connected with that desire to receive your mom's love? It, it's like, let's learn how to just not like, not overanalyze the food and what are you eating and blah, 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 and learn how to understand mm, why is someone doing these things. I wanna read on a little bit more about uh, dynamic eating psychology, again, from the site, just because I think that it's gonna really help you understand um, and see kind of, again, the difference here between just like, here is just a list of like every single diet known to mankind, which honestly to an orthorexic mind is just gonna make you go crazy. And here is not the actual understandings of the biochemistry and everything in it. Rather, it's just like, uh, it's like a, you know, when you're at school when you're young and like, you just had to memorize things. Like you just, you just gotta memorize the Pythagorean theorem. Like I don't really care why the Pythagorean theorem exists and why it's important. I just need to memorize it because I know it's gonna be on my test. And that's how I feel like IP was. It's like, I just need to memorize that this does that because, because that's why. Like I, I'm not even gonna dive into that. And like for those who are interested in nutrition, I just would advise more to actually just go and become like a dietitian or go and become a nutritionist instead of taking the IAN health coaching program, which isn't gonna give you an actual understanding of like insulin and how it works in the body and your metabolism and gluconeogenesis. And like, it doesn't really dive into uh, the detoxification pathways, but what, what exactly is happening with, you know, thyroid gland and all that. Like, if you're gonna do it and if you're really fascinated by nutrition, like do it, like literally again, like go to dietitian school do it like go to dietetic school and actually become a dietitian don't just you know be another person who just read some articles online and you know knows how to google things um and again that's why i liked the uh the dynamic eating psychology approach because it's like great i'm gonna understand people's emotions and kind of go about this thing called health in a different way so it says the important hallmarks of dynamic eating psychology uh, true change never happens when we attack and punish self or aim hate at our own body or soul. It's the only, it's only the positive, uplifting, life-affirming strategies that deliver real transformation and lasting satisfaction. Uh, most people want to have their ideal weight and body in the best relationship with food so they can be happy. That's the goal, happiness. So how can a road filled with self-attack and self-hate possibly lead to a destination of happiness? It's impossible. The journey always informs the destination. And that's why a lot of the stuff in like IAN is talking about like detoxification and eliminating this and eliminating that. And I'm like, mm, that as someone again, who is in the field of like orthorexia and anorexia recovery and everything, I'm like, that's really damaging to start putting these big, like you can't eat this, you can't eat that. Uh, because it's a lot of, it's a lot of restriction. It's a lot of almost like punishment. And it's just like the wrong energy, the wrong kind of motive. Um, so it's like this is kind of getting people to eat in a healthy way from a way different approach of like how do we do this from love how do we do this from love um it goes on to say and that's why all of our tools strategies and protocols are founded on embracing our eating challenges as if they are a great and beloved teacher it may sound counterintuitive but when we go about the business of losing weight healing body image or transforming overeating binge eating or emotional eating from a place of self-acceptance curiosity and relaxation breakthroughs finally happen. Self-attack and negative self-talk generates the physiological stress response, which creates to appetite dysregulation, nutrient excretion, digestive shutdown, mood imbalances, and weight gain due to stress hormones and stress chemistry. And it goes on to talk about the dynamic eating psychology highlights, which are new, deep, and powerful strategies for working with weight issues, the most successful techniques for healing and transforming body image, psychological tools for releasing unwanted food habits, the unique relationship that women have with food, body, and health. That was a fascinating module. Um, the connection between eating psychology and fatigue, the dynamic eating psychology approach to overeating, the dynamic eating psychology approach to mood and depression, how the mind impacts thermic efficiency and our ability to calorie burn, the hidden connection between food, weight, and sexuality, the influence of culture on nutritional metabolism, the hidden psychology of dieting, working with our life story as a means to transform metabolism, the connection between psychology, spirituality, and nutritional health, and much more.
And the very last thing, and the very last thing it says here is we need an eating psychology that doesn't shame us, make us feel like we need to fight our body, and that indeed helps us find a way of nourishing ourselves that truly ignites our soul and is in alignment with not only our metabolic potential, but our potential, but our personal potential as well. Mm, I just like I love all of this. Like it, it's and I've you know dived into because I did the program. I've dived into all of those things. Uh, that he just kind of highlighted there like that's what you dive into in the program and it's absolutely fascinating when you know you have a client who comes to you with a digestive issue and instead of being like well let's eliminate gluten let's eliminate dairy let's do this which is something that honestly just a lot of more IM health coaches are gonna just take that approach that's all they've learned instead like when someone comes to me with digestive issues ooh, I like to really dive deep into what's really going on here. Maybe what emotions are you not fully digesting and assimilating in life? And is that leading to the bloating and indigestion that you're having? Are you feeling like you're not in alignment with your sole purpose and you're at a job that you absolutely hate? How is that impacting your gut microbiome? And so it's like, again, we're, we're getting curious and we're going 20 levels deeper in this program to really help people understand like listen a lot of the times digestive issues are not due to food not saying that food doesn't matter not saying that have a basic understanding of nutrition doesn't matter but again you can google that you don't need to go to IAN for it you can google it it's time that we really understand what's actually going on what's actually going on that is causing someone to have these digestive issues that's causing someone to um to be binging every night like like what's causing that more than just a it's because of this nutritionally it's like or it's not maybe there's something grander here more energetical more spiritual more mm, more mental so if you're someone who really wants to create a big transformation for someone like this is the work that i do this is all i do i've helped hundreds of women just make huge just life transformations transformations in how they think and feel and walk and be and talk and like it's just like huge transformations if you want to do that i think ipe is going to be more the thing for you to help learn how to facilitate so well, i can't speak learn how to facilitate people through that whole process if you're simply just wanting to make meal plans for someone, then I recommend IIN because you're not going to get any of that in IPE. And so that's the main difference here between these two programs. And that's why I chose to finish IPE. And that is like the work that I do now and kind of the career path that I chose. Um, if this sounds really fascinating to you, IPE comes out, I think they do two trainings a year, October uh, 2022, there's a new training coming out. And then I believe it's like March or April, the next one comes out. So there's just a couple trainings a year. Um, it is online self-paced there are live calls and all of that but like if you're behind a little bit on some work that's all fine uh, you just gotta eventually get it done um and so you can be working you can be going to school you can be doing any of that i was like literally taking 18 credits at school and had a job so easily doable with that and it's stuff that's so fascinating and interesting that you're just going to want to listen to the uh to the modules and everything all the time um and so i found it personally easy to kind of just get it in um but if you're really interested in going this route uh there is a link down below to one a free webinar where you can actually just listen to mark david who is the founder of ipe talk about like what dynamic eating psychology is and what the program is and then there is a link down below where you can apply for the program that's just the application they reach out to you and then you have a conversation with them on the phone about the program and if it's the right fit for you so they're really good about like that ah, let's make sure this is the direction you want to go and I think it's because they really do want to create good coaches who are like making a big uh, impact in the world and so when you fill out the application uh, go ahead and put Chloe Murdoch as the referral name not only does that give me a little bit of a commission from uh, you signing up but it allows me to see in my back end that you signed up under me and I reach out to you and I want to help you kind of move forward with this like journey. So then I will email you and we can set up a time to talk about like, hey, what does this look like to actually build a business? Um, like I said, I've built a great business for myself. Absolutely love it. I've been able to work with so many people. Um, wouldn't be doing anything else, to be honest. Like this is my work. Um, 
but I can't know if you just like randomly sign up. Um, and so if you sign up with my name attached, that's how I'm going to be able to reach out to you. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. If there's any questions, just email me contact.flowwithclo at gmail.com or you can send me a DM at flowwithclo. Either one, I will respond. And again, we can hop on a call and discuss like, okay, is this the right program for you? It changed my life. I have another video that I'll link down below where I talk about more in depth IPE and how it did change my life and more of like the modules and what's in it and everything like that So go ahead and watch that as well. And then that is about it for this video So I hope that that was really interesting for those of you guys who are kind of debating uh, Where to get certified if you have any questions, you can also put that in the comments section I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna go but I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for watching this video